Well, I was actually looking for a course on climate change, but with its core with development. So I find I found the course uh, that it's actually a joint course between IDS and the University of Sussex, and is a master's on science, master's of science course. So it has as well as the, the science bit that you need to understand the climate science behind your development propositions, as well as a very good core on development. Well, what makes IDS special for me was a sense of community, because um, it is within this building, within the campus, and you can easily bump into and engage in very passionate and excited conversations about development, but from different perspectives and with different students and staff and researchers, not only within your climate change course, but also from the courses of poverty and gender, for example. And I think that that sense of community makes it really, really special. Besides the sense of community within IDS, I think that uh, as it's a joint course between the University of Sussex, you have the advantage that you can engage with both, with the University of Sussex as such, that has this high reputation about being critical about everything, and that makes it really, really exciting. Um, and also your bigger community around development with IDS. And I remember that I was really, really excited about coming into IDS because of the lecturers and the staff. And that was really good, but I haven't met any, not one student that, was, that I was not amazed and impressed with. So that was as well really important. All the students here, at least all the ones I met, are really, really passionate about development. And that is something that I am not sure if you can get anywhere else. I think that the IDS uh, good reputation precedes you in a way. So if you say, um, where did you study? And then you say IDS, um, they will easily recognize that. But beyond that is the networking that you build within IDS as well. And as I told you before, you, your network is not only your student peers that you studied with within your own course. It's a, much more wider community and that also makes it um, really good in terms of career because you have a bigger, bigger network. Well, my advice for someone that wants to do the Master in Climate Change and Development is, first of all, do not miss any of the Robert Chambers workshops. Those are really, really interesting, even though you think, or you may think that you have a lot of experience with practical issues. Uh, those workshops will give you a lot of questions behind your head that will accompany you for a long while. And also, um, don't be afraid to ask to be challenged because people here are the ones who are writing and are generating knowledge on climate change and development and other, and other issues as well regarding development. So don't be afraid to ask for more challenging uh, classes or moments. They listen.